Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to get 4K quality on After Effects. Um, a lot of people keep this a secret, so it is hard to find, but I've had a lot of you asking, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, and at the end of the video, I'll tell you how to post it on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube while keeping your quality. Okay, so make sure you follow the steps in order that I do them here, because it will change the quality in the end as well. So the first thing we'll do is once you finish your edit, we're going to pre-compose it into one. So we're going to click on the first clip, hold shift, click on the last clip to highlight everything. Then we go control shift C, tick these two boxes here and then hit OK. And then we're going to render the edit before we add any effects or color correction. So go to composition, add to render queue, click on best settings. Now by default, this should already be fine. Just make sure use this comps frame rate is selected here, hit OK. Click on high quality. We're gonna change the format from QuickTime to AVI, hit OK. And then the output too is just where you're gonna save it. So name it, whatever you want. Then we will hit render. Now once it's done, you're gonna open up media encoder and then you're gonna drag your um, rendered edit into media encoder. And you're going to click here where it says H264. And then, so there's some settings here that you'll need to change. So if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to tick render at maximum depth. Scroll down. And we come to the bitrate encoding. So that's probably on VBR if you haven't used it before. So we'll change it to CBR. And we'll drag this all the way up to 50. Okay. And then we'll tick use maximum render quality. And then lastly, scroll back up and click on match source, hit OK. And then before you do that, actually, you can save this as a preset. So what you've just done there, click save preset, name it whatever you want. And the next time you use it, they'll all be ticked already. So you just hit OK. Now click on the box here and then hit the play button. Then once that's finished, we're going to open up Topaz. Now, if you guys don't have media encoder or topaz you can join my discord and i'll give you links for those okay yeah, once that's done you'll drag it into topaz now i'm using topaz 2.6.4 so it might be a little bit different if you have a different version but again i can give you the link to this one so what we're going to do is follow these settings here video quality low video type progressive high compression We'll change this to we'll keep it on the fine tune and then the settings here you copy these 100 150 and the bottom three at 100 okay then scroll down a little bit to the scale keep it at 100 and then the rate factor change that to 20 and these should already be set to here okay then hit start processing all right, now once that's finished, you're going to drag your Topaz file back into After Effects to start a new composition. And then we're going to get onto the color correction. So we're going to change the preview quality to full. And we have to add two adjustment layers. So come up to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, or Control-Alt-Y. Then just click on this one, Control-D to duplicate it. So we have the two. Now we'll start with the bottom layer here and make sure you're doing the same one. It will change again. We're going to search in detail, preserving upscale, drag that onto the layer. We're just going to make reduce noise 100, detail 100, and change the alpha to detail preserving. Okay, then we're going to search sharpen. Um, if you have S sharpen, that's even better, use that, but I will just show you normal sharpen for here. And we're just going to change it to 25. Then we will search unsharp mask okay and we're going to add two so you're going to click on unsharp mask and control d to duplicate that and the first one we're going to put it on 35 for the amount and 15 for the radius and then we're going to go 15 for the second one we're going to get the amount will be 15 and the radius will be 30. okay so that's that layer done now we're going to come on to the top layer and we're going to search um, looks, Magic Bullet Looks, which is a plugin for After Effects. Um, if you don't have it, again, I'll send it to you on Discord. 
Okay, click on edit. So once you get here, it might look a little bit different to yours because you might have a different version, but all the settings should be the same. So first thing we'll do is we'll go to subject and we'll click and drag contrast. We'll click on this little arrow here. Then we'll change the pivot to 2.256. And then we will just add a little bit of contrast, just around, around 60 or 0.60. Then we'll go back to subject We'll add uh, pop, click and drag, click on the arrow. We'll make the pop 30 and the size 200. Come back into subject, shadows and highlights, click and drag. Um, now we'll, we'll minimize the shadows just a little bit and we'll make the highlights about point anywhere between five and six. Okay, next we'll go to lens and we'll drag this one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Okay, we'll go to the top one and just follow these. We'll go 44.16. We'll go to the amount, 75.20. And the aspect will be 1.595. Okay, next, come back here and we will go to post and we'll drag HSL colors. Go in here. Now there's a little bit to copy here. But um, once we've done it once, we can just save it as a preset anyway, so you don't have to do it again. But just copy what I'm doing here. Again, now once you've done that, it should look like this. Now, these can change slightly depending on the main colors in your video. Um, so if there's a lot more reds and oranges, you can add to about 25 and you might take down the blues to maybe 40. Um, but it won't change too much. This is usually just the best settings for most of your videos. Okay. So next we're going to come into Mojo, drag that on. And we've got a few settings here. So we're going to change the top one to 25. We're going to change the punch to 45. The bleach to minus 100. Um, and then we're going to go down to strength and we'll make it 50. Okay, now once you've done that, that's all of our settings. Actually, there's one more. We're gonna go to um, into post again, and we're gonna drag warm slash cool. And we're just gonna uh, now this also varies depending on the main colors in your video. So if you take it this way, it'll be more orangey red or more blue green this side. Okay, so. Again, just slight adjustments, nothing crazy. So, cause this is a lot more blues and lighter colors in here, then this is what it'll look like. Okay, hit the tick. And then we're gonna go to our search, hue slash saturation, drag that on. And we'll make the saturation about 25. Anywhere between 15 and 25 is a good amount for that. Okay, now once you've done that, that's it for your color correction. It should look much better. See the difference there. Okay. Now next, add your watermark and then you're gonna click on the bottom clip, hold shift, pre-compose all of this together. Same two boxes here. And then we're gonna render this one out again. So add to render queue. Again, best settings, high quality, change the quick time to AVI. And then you're just gonna call it whatever you want to call it. Save there. Okay, and I render that. Uh, once that's rendered, which might take a little bit longer this time because you have all the effects on, you're gonna drag that file back into Media Encoder. And now you should have your um, preset saved from what you did earlier. Or just check back and make sure, just make sure those boxes are ticked, those few ones there. Okay, hit match source again, hit OK click on that one and then hit the play button again. Okay, once that's finished, we'll open up Topaz. Now, if you've just left this open from last time, click file, close video, so it's fresh. And now drag that um, media encoded file into Topaz. Okay, now we're gonna Topaz it a second time. All of this stays the same up here, fine tune, um, but these settings are gonna change. So the compression at the top, we're gonna go 70. Details 70, the sharpen, we're gonna go zero. 
we cover that in the color correction. Uh, reduced noise, 100, D halo 63, and 100 for the D blur. Okay, now we're gonna change the scale to 200. This will put it in 4K. And the others down here should stay the same. We have. And then hit start. All right, now once that's finished topazing the second time, you can have a look at the quality. It's going to be very nice. Um, now there's a few tricks for uploading to keep it in this quality. So if you're uploading to TikTok, you'll need to use your phone. So you can put it on like Google Drive, save it on your iPhone, um, but you need an iPhone, I think it's an iPhone 11 or anything newer than an iPhone 11. And you're gonna have an option when you go to post, if you scroll down a little bit to allow high quality uploads. So you're gonna make sure that that's ticked. And if you don't have that and you do have a newer iPhone, you might need to just post a few times if you haven't and you'll get that option available. Um, if you want to post on Instagram, just search up Creator Studio yeah, and on your computer and then you need to post it here. So you just go create a post, Instagram feed um, and then drag your post into here and then write the caption and do all that. Um, that keeps your Instagram in full quality. And then for YouTube, you need to upload your video and let it process for about one to two hours. So a lot of people just upload and as soon as it's finished uploading, they just click post and that's going to ruin the quality. It's not finished processing yet. So upload it, let it sit there for about an hour and then post it and it will be in 4K full quality after you do that. All right, uh, that's it for the video. Um, any questions, just send me a message or leave a comment, join my Discord, I'll leave it in the description. You can ask me there. Um, and yeah, so like the video. Um, a lot of people keep this a secret, like I said. So in return, leave a like. Um, thank you.